I'm Eric Birch with MiningClips.com, and I and with me today is Mickey Fulp, mercenary geologist. Welcome, Mickey. How are you Thanks doing? Thanks a lot, Eric. My pleasure. Excellent, excellent. I, you know, the the big question is: is gold and silver are they going up or going down? And it's so hard to predict mar uh, market timing on these. Uh, what are your thoughts right now? In October, I, I wrote a piece called Why Gold Ain't Going Anywhere Anytime Soon. And I'll <laughs> stick with that opinion. Um, you know, gold has been range bound over the last, what, year, somewhere between 10, 40, if I have memory serves, and 1310. And that 1310 was a year ago, a spike. And that only happened because the Swiss franc was uh, floated against the euro and went way up, and that sent a spike with gold. But there's very strong fundamental reasons to think that gold is fairly valued right now, and we are in a paradigm of plus or minus 1100 I'm very comfortable with that I would say if you're in the gold mining business and you can't make money at $1100 gold you don't belong there I, I, I tend to agree uh, it would seem that we've got uh, major mining companies and, and most of the supply they're now targeting uh, 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 gold at a thousand or less uh, for their mine planning and we we still see most of the production well into the cost curve yeah. into the middle of the cost curve um, I, and on the silver side uh, do you see any difference there between silver and gold or uh, no so the we do a lot with ratios, metal ratios, and pay particular attention to the gold-silver ratio. Right. And it's, again, been range-bound in, in a 70 to 75 range, which, since the bull market for gold started in, say, 2003, arguably, or the, the, and went to, what, 2012, um, that ratio probably averaged about 55 and so it's a little high but it hasn't broken to the upside where I'm compelled to buy silver. I'm a gold a gold bug mm -hmm. uh, not a silver bug so I only buy silver when it gets grossly undervalued with respect to gold and I want to see that ratio. Last time I bought a significant amount of silver was during the global economic crisis of 08, 09, when it briefly spiked 84. So 80 is kind of my magic number for that. Um, and if I buy silver, the real intent with that at some point would be when it goes the other way and that ratio gets really low, I'll trade my silver in for gold because that's money. Gold is real money. Right, exactly. Well, I, I thank you very much for your comments today, and uh, we hope to be speaking with you again soon. Again, uh, this has been Eric Birch with Mickey Fulp, mercenary geologist. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you, Eric. My pleasure.